Um, morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, September 26, 2012. I guess I thought I'd give you a quick update on my home networking project. I'm sorry that I haven't been filming the whole process, but I'll give you a quick rundown as we go, as we go along. So, okay, so I'm going to turn, turn the camera over and show you what we've done so far. Yeah guys, I'm back again. Um, I'll just zoom in on this hole for you so you can see it properly. So here we have the um, bedroom so socket. Now that, that bit of paper there is only there um, for temporarily. Uh, until I make up little tags. So we have on the top where that, where that cable is now. That is port 1. So I'm going to name that one B1. And the one to the right of that is going to be named B2 from bedroom port 2 and the one down is bedroom port 3 and port 4 so yeah, so I thought I'll just carry that, that quickly so I'm going to make up little um, little um, tags on the computer and then we're going to Stick them on the faith plate so we know what what um, cable is, is what down in the um, server room which I'm going to show you shortly. So that's the bedroom. Now I'm going to move into the lounge room. Hey yeah, guys, I'm back and I'm now in my lounge room. And here is my TV and my um, current setup. But I will come back to that later. But here is my um, network. Port in the lounge room we have got six ports. They're going to be named or they're going to be labeled L1 through to L6, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, so I just thought I would show you that quickly. Yeah guys, I'm there in my computer room. And here is the one, here is the network socket that's in the computer room. Um, I'll just tell you quickly what we've done here. The one on the right is the main port which goes from my modem to the hub which is in the, which is in the server room. Now I thought I would turn the keystone over and plug it in upside down just so we know what what um, port 
is the main port and then we and then we also colored the um keystone in black texture to my market. So that's how we could tell what what one what if we ever had to pull it out and um and um, swap it over. And we also made the cable we were in the wall a black cable because all the other cables are blue apart from the main modem cable which we made black again just so we can identify which cable what and here yeah, so that's the one in the computer and there is a AMBM spare port and now I'm going to move into the server room and show you guys that yeah guys I'm now in my um, server room but as you can see it's nowhere near finished yet um, I guess give you a quick rundown of what, 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 we've, what we've done here and then I will move over to the hub and show you guys that so we have all the cable going from the computer room and the land room and my bedroom through the roof and we drill a hole in the ceiling in in here and then we pushed all the cables through the hole and we we made them a little bit longer so then we had a little bit of um, slack in the roof it's always good to have slack in your cable so we've done that and now I will move over to the hub and show you guys that hey guys here is my hub it's the Netgear 8 port switch but I'm going to buy a big one I wish I got that soon now I told you earlier that I'm going to name all the ports from B1 to B4 in the bedroom that was because of this I don't know if you can see that but that that tag says bedroom port 4 so that will, that, that will be the bedroom port 4 on the wall so then we know what what cable is what in the in the roof and then it go on to the lounge room and the and the computer so that's how I'm going to name all the cables and there's the black cable That that's the main network cable for the whole thing. So yes. Um. So that's the server room at the 
mistake on the on the 26th of September 2012. Apart from that hole in the roof, I'm go I'm going to find some PVC piping and put that through the hole just to protect the ceiling from the cables so it doesn't tear it more so but apart from that I think that's all for this room and now I'm going to switch to my uh, to my screencast and show you guys my um, my new hub that I'm going to buy. And just like that, I'm now back on my Mac, and I'm going to show you guys what. Hub I'm thinking about buying and what network attack storage I'm going to buy. Right, so first off, this is a hub that I'm thinking about buying. It's a Netgear GS724. TP PLE 24 port gigabit switch. Now, I don't, I don't know if, if you know this, but PLE stands for Power Over Ethernet. So, this hub will let me hook up a um, phone to do VoIP calls and it doesn't require a power a um, power source the power comes through the CAT6 network cable now I'm pretty sure PLE only works over CAT6, not CAT5 or CAT5E. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure it only works in with CAT6, but that's fine because I have CAT6 running through my whole house, so that's no problem. So, that's the hub that I'm thinking about buying. And yes, I will do the unboxing and show you guys that, and show you guys how to set up properly and work, so. So, it does 10, 100, and 1,000 megabits per second. And so, when I do get it, I will run through all this stuff. And I will put the link down b below. So you can check it out. So that's the hub that I'm going to buy. Now, on to the, um, yeah, yeah, guys, it's Mark again. I'm sorry, but I forgot to add something to my last video. So I we were um, talking about my NAS storage device. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, 
the thing I forgot to show you was was this the hard ones that I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the West Digital Red 3TB NAS hard drive I'm using the red drive because they, they are better for using in a large array of storage like, like the NAS. Currently I'm using the green 2TB drive in my Vovo but I find that you can go to sleep that is the hard drive for the sleep and then you gotta wake it up but these red drives shouldn't go to sleep so that's why that's one of the reasons why they're good for the NAS storage so I'll be buying eight of these for my um, NAS. Yeah. So yeah. So I'll put the the link down below, and now back to your back to the normal programming hard drive enclosure this is a hard drive enclosure that I'm, that I'm thinking about buying it's the Synology DS1812 plus high end scalable mass and I'm going to show you a picture of it there it is it holds 8 bays yes they are hot and swappable so that, that means you can Pull, pull one out if one dies and they can buy another one and you'll put that back in there so that's that now I'll show you why I'm going to buy this one if we click on um, specifications and down here is what um, down here is what I'm looking for DLNA uh, so I can play my media through it and here are all these to pull the like here's all the audio formats that, that this thing supports and here is all the video formats that this thing supports but it does say um, compatible compatibility may vary de depending on the DLNA or P or UPNP client so they may not all work but a good majority of them should it also supports audio playback for the server it supports um, MP3, M4A, M4P, WAV, 
and I I uh, so bad. I guess I'm gonna have email. Um, this is the unit that I'm thinking about buying. Um, there, there is another one, a um, small one, but that doesn't have the LNA. Uh, I'm not, 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 Expansions foot. Um, okay, okay, quickly. Um, I don't have a second. I'll go for it. Um, uh, anyway, there, there are expansions. Um, right here. Um, uh, see this port here. It's a proprietary, um, probably a, um, VGA style plug, and that will plug into a set um, secondary unit, and you can have up to three on one unit. So here on one side there one and then over on this side there's another one. So you have two off the main unit. So I'm going to buy um, probably I don't know, maybe on two, maybe two to start with. And then I might buy the expansion foot. So, yes. And it does support um, printers. So you got four USB 2.0 slots here. And you got two more here. Um, so that that's the unit that I'm thinking a little bit about buying. Um, but um, that that's about it for this uh, update. Um, I will put links down below so you can follow me on um, Twitter and yes, alright, cool, thanks for watching and we will speak to you soon.